Welcome to ProTech's on-demand video training modules. Today, we'll be focusing on Shure's designer software for AV system configuration. This free software will allow you to design, optimize, and deploy any Shure conference room system that utilizes the MXA910 and MXA310 array mics, the P300 audio conferencing processor, and the anti-USB matrix audio network interface. Designer is also an integral part of Shure's new IMX room audio processing software. Please note that this module is specifically focused on an off-site use of Designer rather than a live mode use of the software in the field and when Shure products are directly connected. To get started, launch the Shure Designer software. With my project selected on the left-hand side, click New and select Project. Give the project a name and description and click Create. A location must be added to the project. With the Location tab highlighted across the top, click New, select Location, and give it a name. The virtual devices on the left-hand side are products that are available to use with Sure Designer. Select the devices you would like to add to your location. For this example, we will have an MXA910 array microphone and a P300 audio conferencing processor. Selecting the Coverage Map tab along the top will allow you to add an image of your room. Click Add Image and select the desired image located on your computer. Sure Designer allows you to easily add scale to your image. For example, most doorways have a width of 36 inches, so this is a great frame of reference should your imported image not contain a reference scale. Simply click and drag to draw a line, enter the reference size in feet, and click the check mark. If you need to adjust your floor plan space to fit your image, click the pencil icon in the upper right of the floor plan. This allows you to edit your floor plan size and align your ceiling grid. When finished, click the blank space around your floor plan. You can now click and drag your virtual MXA910 into place and adjust the coverage of the lobes. For the purpose of this video, we will use a medium width with all eight lobes and rough them into place. Next, select the Signal Flow tab. The virtual devices that you previously added to your location will now appear in the Signal Flow schematic. Place your devices wherever you see fit. The white dots on the left side of your device are the available audio input channels, and the white dots on the right side are the outputs. To make a route, simply click and drag from dot to dot, or better yet, you can use the Auto Route feature located in the top left. To do this, click Auto Route, select the desired microphone you would like routed to the desired processor, and click Route. The eight available lobes on the MXA910 are now routed to the first eight Dante channels of the P300. Note that the Auto Mix channel on the MXA910 is not automatically routed during this process. Another great feature of the Sure Designer is Optimize Audio. Optimize Audio applies best practice configurations based on the devices and audio routes found in the signal flow schematic. Once you are satisfied with your signal flow and coverage map, close the conference room window. Settings are automatically saved. Click My Projects on the left-hand side, hover over your project, click the three dots on the right, and select Export. This will save your project to be loaded by a technician in the field. To load a previously exported project, open Sure Designer software, and with My Projects highlighted on the left-hand side, click New, select Import Project, and choose the appropriate designer project file. Double-click your location and select Live Mode. If this is a new install with factory default devices, they will not appear in the Online Devices section. This is because they must first be initialized for use in Designer. To do this, click on the Devices Online notification at the bottom left of the window. Devices that are in need of initialization are presented with a new icon next to their device name. Select Initialize the Devices from the warning prompt. Initializing a device allows you to add it to the location and set a password. Close the Online Devices window and your newly initialized devices will appear in the Online Devices section within your location. You can click the ID button to identify the physical devices on the network and click and drag them into the associated virtual devices in the location. Click Synchronize and select Push to Devices and then click Push. This will apply the previously configured lobe coverage and audio routes to the physical devices found on the network. With Push Dante Route selected, Designer will automatically subscribe your Dante routes. 
If you navigate to the Signal Flow tab, a green check mark next to your audio routes will signify a successfully subscribed Dante audio route. From this window, you can select your device and click Configure. This will give you access to your device's input, auto mixer, matrix mixer, and output adjustment, as well as the ability to fine tune your MXA910 lobes. Tweak to your heart's content and you are done. It's just that easy.